Hello and welcome to the MP Tech Group. Well, today it's barcode scanners. Uh, we've been doing a, a series of project guides uh, about different aspects of our business and different things we help our customers with. And we recently, recently realized that we had not done one on barcode scanners. So we wanted to spend a few minutes today and talk about, as you can see, it could be a little bit deep and complex, some of the barcode scanner options that we sell and that our customers use. And starting from the right over here, Kind of the first decision you need to make is whether or not your application needs a consumer, uh, not consumer, but not rugged, more of a commercial barcode scanner. Um, and, and always an imager these days, the days of laser scanners are gone. Uh, but do you need a, a, a more of a commercial uh, grade product or do you need an industrial grade product? Is your environment such that, that this thing's going to get wet, it's going to get oily, it's going to get dropped all the time? you've got a pretty uh, rugged environment. And sometimes customers will choose this scanner, um, the more rugged, uh, the, the Zebra calls it an ultra rugged scanner, uh, just because they don't ever want it to die. It's mission critical. So they want it to work day in and day out regardless. And this is less likely to guarantee that. And if you've got a dirty environment, you probably want to go rugged over the commercial grade. They both scan really, really well. Uh, this rugged scanner does have a long range imager option so you can scan from further away and there are some direct part mark uh, options which we'll talk a little bit more about later. So first choice is um, commercial grade or, or ultra rugged. Uh, by the way, IP67 rated, if you go to the trade shows you'll see these in an aquarium scanning. You'll see them in a bucket of water. Uh, they're sealed and, and they're sealed uh, with the cable and everything else. Speaking of the cable, your next decision is, is a cable okay? Is my scanning going to be nearby so a cable uh, works or do I need a, uh, a cordless scanner, more of a Bluetooth scanner? Uh, there are the same options of more lower end uh, commercial grade versus the hardened rugged ones. Uh, you can get both corded or cordless but sometimes you need to grab the scanner and you need to go a ways away and you need to come back and uh, a cord is a trip hazard, a cord is too short, or a cord is a problem um, and you want, you want to use a cordless scanner. Another option, and you'll see this kind of more in, in, the, in the commercial grade scanners, but do I need a presentation reader uh, where I'm hands free? where uh, and you'll see this in convenience stores. You just go up and you just put the product in front of it and you don't ever need to, to touch the scanner. You just present to it and it scans. Uh, so presentation scanner is another thing to think about when you're making a, a selection like that. Both of these have the option to, oh, I got to pick it up and scan something. You can still do that. There's a little sensor on the bottom that tells the scanner whether or not you picked it up. And even this hand scanner in a, in a uh, cradle, you can pick it up and scan but primarily they're, you know, they're meant to be used to be presented to. Moving on, thinking more about scanning, we start getting a little bit more mobile and there are some applications where a wearable scanner is the thing to do. And these are all ambidextrous. You can switch this around so you could trigger it with your left hand uh, or your right hand, but there is a trigger here. It is a barcode scanner. Uh, and you can, if, if you need both hands, uh, to do the work that you need to do, but you need to frequently scan, then a wearable scanner might be a solution. We're going to talk a little bit about mobile computers, and we're going to talk a little bit more about long-range scanners. So the old traditional, what we always call a brick on a stick, is this mobile computer. It's got keys, it's got a nice touch screen, and it's got a super long-range barcode scanner. Uh, these are meant to be used uh, either A, I'm scanning all the way up 30 feet up on the top rack and I need to be able to read that barcode, or B, I'm writing on a forklift, so I need to be able to scan that pallet, scan that location, and never get up off the seat. So these um, older brick on a stick style uh, barcode readers, and this is the MC9300, this is the one we prefer. There's an MC3300, a little lighter duty version of this. The down, the knock on these used to be that you couldn't get a long range imager in them. Now you can. Now it's got the long range imager. And you can, if you look at these, you can see there's a lot going on here because there's actually two barcode scanners in here. There's a short range scanner and a long range scanner and the reader toggles back and forth between the two so that you can scan a barcode up close or you can scan a barcode 40 feet away. And you could do both and do both really quickly. Um, these are the uh, touch computers uh, that uh, are meant for the warehouse and they've always had a long-range scanner and the nice thing you'll see about this is the straight through. With this 
With this type scanner, you have to scan and then tilt up to see the screen. With this one, it's a straight through read. You're reading right straight through and looking at the screen all at the same time. Um, no keys on this one, it's touch only. Going backwards a little bit, when you get into tablets and you get into the true touch computers, more of a PDA phone style, the knock on these has always been no long range scanning, no mid range scanning. Uh, the, you only had short range scanners with these, so you had to be in close proximity with the barcode. They weren't really meant for the warehouse. Recently, in the last year or two, a mid range scanner has been introduced. Instead, you know, these you'll, you'll read two, three feet away, maybe at the most. With these, you'll read 50, 60, 70 feet away, depending on the barcode. But now there's a mid range scanner that's available in these, frankly, in the wearables and in the, uh, in the uh, more rugged tablets. Uh, that will read 20 feet away. So, you know, you're not going to read that top shelf, um, you know, uh, in a warehouse location. Uh, but you can, you can read from a pretty good distance with these new or mid-range scanners that are available. Another thought about scanning is direct part mark. So, most barcodes that are out there are kind of like what you see here. Uh, they're, they're black on white. They are a paper or a poly base label or, or paper. Uh, piece, piece of paper, not necessarily a label, and you're scanning the barcode right off of that. You've got really good contrast, the dark is really dark, the light is really light, you can really see well with those, and any of these scanners will read those barcodes. But more and more and more, customers are direct part marking. I've got a metal um, automotive part, and I have etched, I have dot peened, I had laser marked a barcode into that, and I need a special scanner. And here you can see Zebra's got a mobile computer with a direct part mark reader directly built into it. These, as I mentioned earlier, have direct, direct part mark options. The, the, the commercial grade ones do not. You, you have to get into the rugged version uh, of a mobile computer or of a hand scanner to get the direct part mark uh, read capabilities. Brings me to my last thing. Gosh, I, it's, it's, it's a fixed mount read. I've either got a conveyor with boxes going down it, or I got a piece of equipment, be it manufacturing or, or lab processing or whatever, and I've got products with barcodes going through, and I just need to scan them as they go by. Whole nother animal. And really where we shine from a technical uh, support and services role, because you get into a lot of selection, and sometimes those applications are reading direct part marks, and sometimes they're just reading paper-based barcodes, but we do have solutions for both. But, gosh, how many pixels do I need? What's my depth of field? What's my, uh, my scan width? Can I get away with a, a smaller scanner because it's just test tubes going by at a really close, uh, close uh, spacing? Or am I trying to read a 30-inch wide conveyor, and I've got boxes, you know, I've got bags here with barcodes, I've got boxes up here, my depth of field is huge, uh, I am going to need uh, probably a C-mount lens to get that kind of depth of field, I'm going to need external lighting because you really have to light those, uh, those applications really bright to make sure you read 100% of the time, but fixed-mount barcode scanners are a whole animal onto themselves, and we absolutely do those uh, all day long here at the MP Tech Group. So, wanted to give you kind of an overview of the different types of barcode scanners available, why uh, having some demo equipment available to you and some uh, options and someone who knows uh, the ins and outs of this can uh, really be a help. EMPTechGroup.com, always the best place to, to reach us and we're here to help. Please reach out.